Hi everyone, it's Stu here once again from 3B and it's that time of year, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the US. And it's sale time, it's Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And those of you watching over Christmas, of course, it's the New Year sales that are coming on. And it's always a good time to sort of grab yourself a bargain in terms of tech and certainly in terms of TV. So I've got sort of 10 tips in, in, in regards to getting the best uh, deal, the best TV for you, and also making sure you're getting something that's worth buying. So let's begin with number one. Number one is to choose from a decent manufacturer. You know, don't go for some of the awful bargain basement manufacturers that are out there, but certainly go for someone like Samsung, LG, Sony, or if you're in the US, you can even go for Vizio. Um, they create great panels, Samsung especially, and uh, there's a good range of TVs to choose from. The next one, number two, is to decide whether you're going for OLED or LED. LED will be cheaper, but you will you will likely get a better picture in terms of color and uh, black levels on OLED, but you will pay a lot more for that. Number three is the size. The, now we're seeing 50 inches uh, in terms of TVs and 55 inches becoming more popular and more common. As a result of that, the price of which is coming down. So if you're in the market for a larger TV, now is a good time to buy because a lot of the manufacturers are reducing the prices on 50 inch and 55 inch TVs because they're simply becoming more affordable because they're creating more of the panels uh, in that range which is reducing the price economies of scale of course the next one number four is to make sure your TV is actually 4k a lot of TVs now um, are certified by THX or, or Do Dolby or whoever um, but mainly look for sort of UHD certified or 4k certified to make sure that you're actually getting a 4k TV uh, for a short while there was a period where there was a lot of TVs that really kind of weren't 4K, were hanging around, so make sure that it's proper 4K and it's not some sort of pseudo nonsense. The next one, HDR number five, is HDR. Making sure, make sure your your TV is HDR. Um, to make sure you're getting the best HDR, make sure it's either HDR10, HDR10 Plus, or Dolby Vision. Also look out for making sure that your TV is at least a thousand nits. That's the brightness. Um, anything below a thousand nits is not HDR or true HDR. It, the TV has to pump out a bright image um, to make sure it reaches those levels of which HDR truly is. A lot of modern TVs now, certainly this year and the latter part of last year, were above a thousand, um, and even the earlier models from last year and the year before were at a thousand. So you should be able to get yourself a true HDR uh, performing TV, either HDR10 or Dolby Vision. So make sure it's got either one of those. The next one, number six is to go for last year's model. Um, you'll get a better deal on last year's model. The differences between last year's and this year's is unlikely to be a huge amount. Um, unless you're a complete gadget nerd and you want something new and fancy in terms of, you know, maybe uh, there's a lot of AI and voice interaction. Um, <clears throat> some have Amazon support. Um, but really it comes down to the picture and most of the time the differences between the panels unless you're going up to the really high end of the panels on each of these manufacturers you really won't notice a huge amount um, when you're moving from one year to the next so you can get yourself and save yourself more money by going for last year's set than say for this year's set number seven um, the content, how are you going to, or what are you going to play through your TV? Um, a lot of TVs upscale, of course, from HD to 4K, but of course you want to watch something in 4K. So it's always a good idea to make sure you've got Netflix, um, Prime, and also look out for bundles. Um, a lot of manufacturers throw in um, with some of the, the larger sets, uh, 
Blu-ray players with uh, 4K Blu-ray players with um, 4K DVD sets. Um, I know when I bought mine, uh, it actually came with a, a 4K Blu-ray and a bunch of uh, 4K Blu-rays too. So look out for those. Those are usually around. Um, sometimes those are more online than sort of in stores, but they're always worth looking out for. Just a, 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 a word. Um, I'm doing a promotion. Uh, it's uh, for Prime, uh, you get 30 days free Prime, so good time to buy Amazon Prime because you get the free delivery and uh, Amazon Prime TV and so on. So make sure you check out in the links below, it's uh, for UK and the US, click the link at the bottom. It just helps with the channel because I get a few quid just for uh, offering that to you. So see the offer in the, in the description of the video. So uh, let's move to number eight and that's positioning of your tv a lot of people tend to position their tvs far too high or um, on shelving where the, the speaker because they're downward firing don't don't work very well um, you want your tv sort of at an angle sort of say that's you you're sat here and your tv's here you just kind of want it a little bit above sort of the middle of the TV to be there with your eyes. I know if that makes sense, but I've created a video that explains how and where to put your TV in the best positions to put it, um, given your room. A lot of people tend to put them above fireplaces, which is about the worst place you can put it. One, they're usually too high up, so it tends to wash out the image, certainly on an LED screen, because the angles um, uh, cause the, the backlight to wash through a little bit. Um, and also the sound doesn't work particularly well. Plus it's not particularly comfortable. You're kind of viewing like that. And when I do that, I look like I have no hair. So that's never very good. But check out the video that'll be uh, in a card that'll pop out um, in the, one of these corners here. <clears throat> Next, uh, once you've got the TV set up, number nine is um, update your TV. Uh, make sure it's got the latest firmware. There will be one. Uh, it's also worth looking online to make sure you've got the latest one because sometimes when you look at it online and your TV, sorry, when you look, when you've connected your TV to the internet and you checked online um, through the TV, it may not have the most current version showing. Um, so it's best to check online with the manufacturer's website and it may be a slightly newer version of that same for firmware. You can download it usually to a thumb drive and then just update it via, you know, via the thumb drive on your TV through the USB. Really easy, really simple. Once you've done that, once you've updated, we move to the final one, which is number 10, and that's to calibrate your TV. Um, there's nothing worse than getting a new, brand new, shiny, shiny TV and the image isn't really that good or it's the colors are overly saturated or blown usually out of the box um, some tvs i know lg out of the box is usually pretty good samsung is okay but it's always a good idea just to have it calibrated and in terms of calibration, I've created various videos on, on calibrating your TV. There'll be one that will appear up in a card once again in this video. Uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple to do. Um, it's, it's, you don't really have to get someone in to do it for you. You can do that if you've got a really fancy TV and you're a nerd and you want someone to do that, then that will cost you a bit of money to do. But most of the time you can get it set to a recent, reasonably good level, um, sort of out of the box by tweaking a few settings and uh, in the video that will appear as a card, um, I explain how that's done. So that's the top 10 tips that I would give you guys over this holiday period, over Christmas and uh, the New Year sales and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and what have you, and all, any sale that's coming up, that's what I would recommend doing. Go for a manufacturer, decide on OLED LED, think about 50 inches or 55 inches, make sure it's 4K, make sure it has true HDR 10 or Vision, Dolby Vision. Go for last year's model, it'll be cheaper. Um, you make sure you have some decent 4K 
content to feed your new special TV. Um, make sure it's positioned correctly. Make sure you've updated it and then make sure you also calibrate it. If you find this video useful or any of my videos, please consider subscribing. Um, you can help fund uh, the channel a little bit by uh, clicking one of the special offers I got from Amazon below in the description. Um, other than that, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy your summer? What am I talking about? Enjoy your Cyber Monday deals. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, have a lovely holiday. And I'll see you very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.